डिफाइन डायनेमिक मैपिंग स्कीम आंसर इन या डायनेमिक स्कीम इफ वन थ्रेड और प्रोसेस रन्स आउट ऑफ यूजफुल वर्क इट कैन ऑप्टेन एडिशनल वर्क फ्रॉम अनदर थ्रेड और प्रोसेस इन अवर फाइनल इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ सीरियल डेप्थ फर्स्ट सर्च ईच स्टैक रिकॉर्ड कंटेन्स ए पार्शियल टूर विद दिस डेटा स्ट्रक्चर ए थ्रेड और प्रोसेस कैन गिव एडिशनल वर्क टू अनदर थ्रेड और प्रोसेस बाय डिवाइडिंग द कंटेंट ऑफ इट स्टैक दिस माइट एट फर्स्ट सीम टू हैव द पोटेंशियल फॉर कॉसिंग प्रॉब्लम्स with the program's correctness since if we give part of one threads or one process stack to another there is a good chance that the order in which the tree nodes will be visited will be changed how can we decide which api mpi p threads or open mp is best for our application answer as a first step decide whether to use distributed memory or shared memory in order to do this first consider the amount of memory the application will need in general distributed memory systems can provide considerably more main memory than shared memory systems so if the memory requirements are very large you may need to write the application using mpi if the problem will fit into the main memory of your shared memory system you will still want to consider using mpi since the total available cache on a distributed memory system will probably be much greater than that available on a shared memory system it's conceivable that a problem that requires lots of main memory accesses on a shared memory system will mostly access cache on a distributed memory system and consequently have much better overall performance however even if you will get a big performance improvement from the large aggregate cache on a distributed memory system if you already have a large and complex serial program it often makes sense to write a shared memory program another consideration is the communication requirement of the parallel algorithm if the process or threads do little communication an mpi program should be fairly easy to develop and very scalable what are the details to be checked for thread termination answer there are several details that we should look at more closely notice that the code executed by a thread before it splits its stack is fairly complicated in lines 1 2 the thread checks that it has at least two hours in its stack checks that there are threads waiting and checks whether the new stack variable is null the reason for the check that the thread has enough work should be clear if there are fewer than two records on the thread stack splitting the stack will either do nothing or result in the active threads trading places with one of the waiting threads please subscribe our channel for more videos and educational